Here we go on Voltron. Good morning and welcome to Roller Blast and Coaster Dad. And we are here to have our first ever day at Europa Park. Pretty cool dude. Um, yeah, we've not been to Europa Park before. If you've seen our recent videos, you'll know that we're staying in Hotel Bell Rock. Uh, and also that we've travelled here from Edinburgh. But we are here for our first ever visit. We're going to try out all the rides. We're going to give you some POVs. Online POVs are allowed at this park, so we'll be doing that. And we are going to try out the exciting new for 2024 coaster that everyone in the world is talking about. Boats from the bar. So, let's stop queuing, let's get in the park. There is early ride time at Europa Park. Uh, if you're staying in the hotel, you get half an hour. And you also get early access to queue at Voltron Navarra. There's certain rides that are open. I think today it's Blue Fire and the uh, Runaway Mine Train Style Coaster and one of the water coasters. Well, we're in Baz and already it is densely themed, isn't it? Right, look at this. Look at this theming. Like, wow. It is a big Not wow, a isn't it? Is this better than Fantasia Land to be or? I mean, I. I don't yeah. know. Like it's really, really good. It's really densely packed. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a problem on this trip, aren't I? I love oh, Fantasia yeah. so much. I'm gonna feel like I'm cheating on it. Yep. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Claire? That looks amazing. The theme is incredible. Oh my gosh. Big thumbs up. So we have a water coaster, we had the wooden coaster. It looks like it does a big splash, it's very wet here. Yeah. We're trying to make our way to Blue Fire, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, there it is. There it is. So guys, we are in the Blue Fire Mega Coaster queue line. Baz is doing the filming and, ooh, look at this. Look at all the patterns. <laughs> There's Dad. Um, Go around this corner, you'll see a light. It's a mystical light. It's a mystical light that holds, that holds dust. Hold dear here, hold dear here in shop dino irons for ya. I think that's what it says. But anyway, we got a nice bin here. Great scenery. Um, there's a nice bridge up there. Maybe that's part of the key line, I'm not sure. Oh, but I think this is where it launches. Or it, where it breaks. Could be either one. There's the loop. Well, those look like happy customers. That'll be us in a minute. Whoosh. It does look like quite a chill launch in the icon style. Here we are, it's our first ride at Europa Park. Here we go. So, I'm quite excited, I haven't had this many creds in front of me for a long time, not for yeah. a year. Since like, Fantasia and Alton Towers. So you had a look here, what are you expecting? Um, I, I think I'm expecting good things from the West Coaster. Just good things? Good things. And uh, are you glad you had breakfast? <laughs> Peace be it. We've well, just had our first ride, Baz. Straight away, this, I know this park's going to be amazing if that's a kind of coasters. I had really low expectations for that ride, because uh, I'd heard, you know... That is a much more bigger launch than you said it was going to be. It was a slightly more punchy launch than Icon, it felt it anyway. And uh, We were on the back row, so... We were on the back row, that probably helped, didn't it? Yeah, um, yeah back row was really good. The end caught, the end, like, um, twisty bit. On the back row. There were a lot of barrel rolls on that ride. It was, it, and there were some good airtime moments, like coming off of where the trim brakes are. They, I didn't think trimmed us; they're just there for mm -hmm. safety. Um, yeah, I was pretty amazed by uh, how powerful that was. It was pretty powerful. Oh, um, better check the map. Better check the map. Yeah. We've just got to the Voltron area just as they opened the gates. This per is perfect. Perfect timing. This is just perfect timing. Minor tracks. 
<laughs> oh man, this is good. This is so good. Yeah, sorry we dumped you out there from the uh, Blue Fire review, but we needed to check where we were going. I am really, I'm really hot. One of the main advantages of the hotel is that you can get into this area early and queue early, so we're doing it. Also, when you stay at the hotels, you've got this amazing thing where you can get virtual queue times. So, we'll be doing some of that later if we can get them. But yeah, we'll start reacting to things again, because we've been wandering around whilst looking at the map going, Oh my God, oh my God, because the theming is insane. Oh my God. Okay, we'll do some Oh My God. Euro Mir, looking forward to that later. I really want to go on that today. That is my favorite. That is, that looks like the, oh, it looks like such a good coast down. I really, really want to go on that. We're entering Rusland, the Russia area, and that is the Russian coaster. Claire. Hello. Give us some, give us some chat. Hello. I mean, I'd rather coast it around mirror skyscrapers. <laughs> Who knew? It's, it's, it's actually meant to represent the um, solar panels of the Mir sta space station. Oh, well, that makes sense, yeah. You said that, I feel stupid. Oh. And you're kind of in little spacecraft orbiting it. Wow. That um, ride was amazing. Blue fire. Blue fire? Blue fire, yeah. Blue fire. That's something very different. That was very good. Really Shoots you out of nowhere, <laughs> which is quite disconcerting. There was an alarm going on. There was an alarm. Alarm. You don't want alarms, I've got to be honest. And then smoke. So you can't see, uh, but the oh, the launch was incredible. Wasn't ready for that. Just had breakfast. Oh, well, yes. I'm sure there won't be any launches on this coaster. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no. I, might, I might disagree. <laughs> Here we are. This is Voltron. 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 I think it's a girl flower. I'm not sure. It's not a girl It's a Mackie <laughs> Mickey taker. Baz, that was your best ever theme park joke. The, the orb. The orb of power, the transporter. Because this is a coaster that oh. secretly is themed to the prestige. Ooh. Um, <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's a building that they're building. <laughs> I'm an expert on these things. There's a, there's a piece of track sticking out. Well, you know. Hmm, new coaster? New coaster? Maybe. I think it's just some back area stuff. But yeah, we are going to go in and we're going to see what Nikola Tesla has been building. Voltron. Excellent. You're actually quite excited. You love the Prestige, don't you? It's not officially themed to the Prestige, but if you've seen the Prestige and you've seen this theme, you know that it's actually the same thing. It's also single rider, so if you've ridden it once with your entire group, you can go on it by yourself if you want to go again. Yeah, they had single rider on a lot of the rides here. Lots and lots and lots. Yeah. In terms of expectations, we're going with if Icon and the Smiler had a baby, right, Buzz? Yeah. Where? Uh, the seats are iconic, and it's twisty like the yeah. Smiler. So yeah, I see the combination. And you were just saying it doesn't look too bad over there. No, it's fine. So, as long as it doesn't go very deep, <laughs> so it'll be, be fine. <laughs> Well, we haven't stopped moving, have we, Baz? No, we have not. Just go, 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 go. It's a big cattle pen. I would hate to be in this in the sun. Cut to later, standing in this, dying in the sun. Uh, planting. Sensory planting. Right, sensory lavender. We need to do more of that. It smells amazing. It's why did you do it? You cut it Sorry about that. I had to be turned the corner. <laughs> I think yeah, that was that was it really. Um, Speaking of sensory. That is fun. That is fun. Oh my goodness. It's like being a toilet duck. I think that might be the rim in Rimac. Come chat, I just realised something. We're going on Voltron. This is the second time this year that we've gone on a coaster where there's a chance this is going to be our new number one. Yeah. It's a bubbly feeling, isn't it? Mm. I can't... This I can... could be it. This could be our number one for years after this. Who knows? Is this better than Hyperia for... Is it better than Hyperia for you? Is it better than Taran for me? 
walk, but the queue doesn't stop, you don't get to pause. I know. Claire and Baz know nothing about this or this. Everyone loving the pre-show? Yeah. So here's the locker system. You do need to put your things in lockers. If you've been on fly, it's a little bit like that. This could be my new favourite coaster. I know, I know. shopping we're reacting. Yeah, well, I think we've just got to. Is that better than Tarry? It's too early to say. Too early. I was on an outside seat and I and I and I did notice the rattle. But they did have big boy seats. Yeah, I mean every seat's a big boy seat. It's very comfortable in a lot of ways, but there is just a little bit, got a little bit of that Gerslauer feeling. Uh oh, no, I don't dare that. So. Yeah, it's too early. I'm not going to judge it straight away. It's very good. It's very, very good. My instinct, though, Hyperion and Taran are better. What do yes. you think? This. You're all about this. Yeah. Good. Well, we've got somebody who absolutely, unconditionally loves it the best. And we've got somebody who quite enjoyed it. And we've got... That was really good. Okay, spoiler here. Come in. How do we enjoy the launch section? That was crazy. Really good. Oh, I did say spoiler. Oh, it went like that. And then <laughs> Were you ready for that? I wasn't ready for the angle. <laughs> <laughs> was, we was somehow was amazing, man, even though we walked past it on the way in several times and it went off like 15 times while we were in the queue, I noticed that Claire hadn't noticed it, which was amazing. <laughs> so you went into the, into the launch not knowing it went vertically. Because where we were standing, you could only see parts of its little sections. They're very good at hiding some of the interest so you don't see it. Yeah. No, it was an, that's incredible, the length of the ride as well. I mean, you d just keep getting surprised, and it's amazing. Yeah, go on that again. That feels like the longest case that I've been on. <laughs> so, are we, are we going to ride something else, or are we going to nip in the single rider while it's quiet? Single rider. Oh. Come on, then. Yeah, let's go.
Here we go on Voltron. this ride And we're on stuck on track with the rain coming down. That's a nice rest. Might stop you till it works again. You rejoin me up here. Stupidly intense. It is Dreek at Europa Park. Um, you will have seen that from our second POV. We're now aware, you will already know, that we lost our first two POVs this morning to tech issues. The floor in Croatia is incredibly slippy in the rain. Um, we've just booked a virtual line for Euromir. The line for Voltron is massive because ops are slower in the rain. They seem to slow down the ops. The ops were insanely fast when it wasn't raining. Um, yeah, we've had a second single rider ride. I liked it a lot more the second time, apart from we got stuck in the middle, but you know that. Uh, so yeah, in the meantime, while we're waiting for our Euromir ride to come up, we're going over to see some curiosities. You looking forward to seeing some curiosities? Yeah. How was your um, ride? You were on the same train as me at the back, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was at the very back, so it took me forever to get into the station so I'm the wettest out, wettest out of everyone oh you drippy baz oh dear I'm completely lost again so how was your second ride <laughs> yeah I was on the outside this time and it was a little bit more severe it's um, pretty intense isn't it goodness yeah so slightly less enjoyable but it was with the rain again it was like a double whammy so it was a little bit overwhelming but it was good I know I'm a coaster enthusiast and I'm not supposed to think this but it was almost too intense, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, I am completely lost. <laughs> right then. Madame Freudenreich. Madame Freudenreich, Baz? Yeah. Let's go. Here's the exit, and here's the entrance. 
and it's on one minute, so that should be good. Here we are. Wow. There's the lady herself, she's not charging. <laughs> This is a dark ride, Baz. Yeah, it feels good to have a dark ride after all that rain out there. What do you think it's seen to? Uh, uh, museum. Oh, museum, great. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, right. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs. There's a bunch of bones in here and stuff. Dinosaurs. Egg, egg, it's Nemesis. Oh. We've got a Nemesis situation. And here's the loading area. Wow. Uh, well, the uh, lens on the camera's got a bit wet. Oh, the lens cut off. There you go. Oh, wow. That's it, Lovely hat there, Mr. Dino. You're doing some gardening. system. Well, everyone has issues with velociraptors in the kitchen, don't they? Smells <laughs> great. Oh, mate. Mate. Got nothing on this. Forget, forget, forget Velocicoaster. It's all about this, right? Yeah. Forget Velocicoaster. <laughs> Mate, you're not getting that. 
Do you need a wonder tooth? So we are returning to Russia to use our virtual line fast track, which is free. You just click on it in the app. You're on Mir. So yeah, theme to the Mir space station. Special Shufa, theme to the Mir space station. Apparently has quite an interesting soundtrack. We might be missing that on our first run through though, because of the virtual line. This here is my 99th coaster. Party party, we've just merged. And we merged with the good side of here's the tunes. The proper merge party. zone. And we're Claire on this ride. Oh, good views of Voltron. Look at that. It's been a lovely tour around this wild mouse top, hasn't it? It's quite gentle so far. Oh, I've got to be honest, this is uh, very high. Isn't it? Okay, I think we're going to get the interesting bit now. Oh, that's a bit 
good. Oh, God. Everyone said this was rubbish. Oh, I've enjoyed oh, it so that's far. Him. Oh, that's him. Oh, 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 good Lord. Quite silly. Oh, I'm not sure backwards at the end there was any good with me. I, I thought that was enjoyably silly. That was amazing. I love that. So, sorry we haven't reviewed Euromir yet. We'll do that when we come off this ride, but we instantly got a fast track straight onto Pirates in Batavia, which has a massive queue. So, like four hours? I think the queue might have cleared a bit. Maybe it's on four hours because it hadn't opened. But yeah, definitely Pirates of the Caribbean esque. Yeah. I don't know where my team's gone. Hello team, where's my team? Oh, there's my team. team. There's my team. Hello, we haven't seen you for a little while. We have done two rides. For, um, we've done Pirates in Batavia and we've done Euromere. Do we want to talk about those guys? Yeah. Yeah. Euromere first? <laughs> yes. My 99th coaster. That's a really good coaster. I'm putting it in 10. Yeah, that's amazing. So it reminded me of 90s rave and the black hole and it was excellent, I loved it. Oh really? Um, but the one thing I would say about it is it did have quite a rattle. <laughs> it, it was a bit shocking, it was very silly. Um, I have to say I've heard only terrible things about it and I actually really enjoyed it. It was just ridiculous, um, it is very lumpy at the end but sometimes lumpy can be good. In terms of lumpiness it was more like well, some of the woodies at Blackpool in terms of the fact that it's fun lumpy. But yeah, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think the reputation of it being a bit rough and rubbish is kind of true, but also, like, blown out of proportion. <laughs> uh, so, Pirates. Oh. Pirates. Pirates had a massive rip-off, but was it good in spite of it being a rip-off? Um, it was good, yeah. It was really good. I really liked it. I think I actually liked it a little bit more than the Disney one. Um, it hasn't too wet. Wet. She's gone. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> so we have picked up yet another virtual line. We had a virtual line for Euromir, a virtual line for um, Pirates in Batavia, and now we're heading over to the Volatarium. These guys literally don't even know what ride type it is. Um, so that should be fun. And then we're going to try and find some lunch. The Bamboo Bai restaurant looks really, really good. It's in there, but... We weren't all up for noodles, um, so yeah, we're just going to keep looking, find some lunch after this. Did have a lovely coffee in the French area earlier, got us back up to the top of the lift hill. So yeah, we're rolling. Just endless amounts of beautiful, so many lovely trees, flowers everywhere. You know, some of it's unsustainable bedding planting, but it's what it is. But the use of water, what do you think of the use of water through the park, guys? Um, I think it's, it's the water from, where do they even get the water? Well, you know, there's rivers and uh, they've got these little pools and ponds and different bits all the way through. It has been but, lovely. But the most important supplier is Puddle. Oh, that Puddle is a big supplier of water. That's a lovely water feature. The Volatarium. This is a queue line.
So lunch today will be at Schloss Balfazar. It's a bit warm, Baz, but it's also quite royal, isn't it? Sweaty. What do you think of your royal plate? Sweaty. Just sweaty. Nothing else you can think of but sweaty. It has heated up again, hasn't it? In this week's episode of Baz Gets a Sandy Backside. <laughs> This is the best ride of the day. Yeah. It's exceptional. Yeah. It's lady. And that is a heated, a heated sandy backside. That's a speciality. Hot bop. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? We are at. Europa Park. Europa, the sign, it says Europa, Europa Park. Europa Park. Europa Park. We said it wrong. Europa Park. Woohoo. Europa. You got hungry. Europa Park. Europa Park. We're, we're at Europa Park. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Where do these stairs go? They go up. They do go up and they go up to the EP Express monorail. Going to get a transport ride <laughs> if I don't fall down the stairs. Wow, it's a full station. It looks empty, so we probably just missed the train. Three minutes. Baz, can you check if that flying man's stuck? He looks like he's had a terrible time. He's gone right in the wrong place. reminiscent of the Alton Towers monorail except not horrible. <laughs> yeah, actual windows you can see out of. Welcome to Scott Rail. Lovely singing voice. It's very glorious music for a monorail. Bit embarrassed, yeah. So I've selected, and I've selected Eurosat Can Can Coaster for my 100, because, you know, if you're going to go for a silly coaster, go for a fun coaster. So yeah, it's going to be this one, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. Mr. Bennett is off and it's Eurosat Can Can Coaster. My hundredth coaster.
da 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 And that's my hundredth coaster. Yeah. Well, I've done my hundredth coaster. Let's do a hundred and one. Yeah. Well, it's a gigantic fifteen-minute wait for the tallest coaster we've ever been on. Okay, Claire, you haven't been on Hyperia, so the tallest you've been on is still the big one, and you're not a fan of heights, are you? No. So this is not what you've been looking forward to most on this trip, but it is Silver Star. Coming down is fine. It is. I can't wait for this. You can't wait? I think we should talk a little bit about what we've just experienced on Eurotac Can Can Coaster. My 100th coaster. It was really fun. It was, it was just a lot of fun and I'm so glad I chose it because it was just a lot of fun. What about you Claire? How did you enjoy it? I loved it. They made use of the dark with lights, which is the way it should be. It's yeah, amazing. a nice dark ride experience. Uh, do you fancy doing it again for seven euros with the uh, Phantom of the Opera VR experience? Um, it doesn't seem massively popular over there, but we could try it. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's the way, and if you want to do it Phantom of the Opera style, seven euros each, add-on experience. Maybe we should do that, maybe later when we come back in the uh, next vlog. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get in here. Let's go on a big ride. Okay, here we go on the tallest coaster I've ever been on, and I've been on Hyperia. So nice. Claire, how are you feeling? Oh, you were right, Baz. We are lift healing up into the sun. And that's why I don't really want to go on front right. I suggest left hand over the left eye. Oh God, it's really hard. How you doing, Claire? You nice and high? Good views. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's floaty. It's not that extreme, is it? No. Matterhorn Blitz next, Faz. Yeah. Matterhorn Blitz. Not my favourite coaster type, but this one might be fun. It's Rattlesnake, isn't it? It's Rattlesnake. Yeah. I'm really excited for this, because at the top, I think I saw an elevator. Shh, don't tell Mum. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I won't, I won't. 
I think it's going to be really fun and I don't think it's cute to steam in it. No, I don't think so either. It's interesting, that is one thing that you do remember from way back in the day when we watched POV to the park a few years ago. Well, you have actually remembered that element, so that's interesting. Yeah. This queue line is actually exactly like rattlesnakes. Right, we're queuing for Matterhorn Blitz. Oh, you go first, Baz. Sorry, sorry. You go, you go. And this is your 99th coaster, buddy. And this, the one after this one will be my 100th. That's right. And we will um, find out, you guys will find out what it is when we get there. But in the meantime, we can talk about Silver Star. How was Silver yeah. Star? Silver Star was... Not a source of Hyperia. No. I mean, like, it's amazing going up, that high up always. And it is a bit higher than Hyperia. It's the tallest coaster we've ridden. And it's super smooth. And it's quite fun. There's lots of good bits of air time, especially uh, towards the end. The, but one, it's... the one bit I absolutely hate is that trim break. The trim break was a little bit annoying. Uh, <laughs> Definitely, halfway through, a little bit. But then the drop after it was quite good. But, um,. But yeah, it's a bit mid, wasn't it? Yeah. Not sure where it's going to come in the rankings. Glad to have bidden it. We'll ride it again this week. Claire, your tallest coaster. It's really high. I could normally look at the view, but that one I struggled. I looked down, deadly down. down. It was good though. Enjoyed it. Coming over and under lots of different levels. Well, thank you, Mercedes Benz. <laughs> That's really terrifying. That's a, that's a terrifying, terrifying animatronic. Some kind of dead cat. Oh my god. This one is so I tell you what, the sheer amount of the theming is amazing. The design is terrifying, but the amount is amazing. Your children are dirty. I'm doing you for neglect. When it comes to theming, they do say, always finish on a horse. You join us on Matterhorn Blitz. Not bad, dude. I'm regretting not giving you the camera. I didn't think in time. You're at the front, I'm at the back. Oh, well. Down we go. It's a classic wild mouse. Ah, oh, wild mouse is not my favourite flavour. I get bashed. I have too much momentum. Ah. Right, this bit's better. Oh. Hey. Oh, bit of a bump. Oh god, this is bad. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well. And finish on the skis. <laughs> My nostalgia for this ride, being at Chessington when I was a kid, is high. We have walked, Baz, 
two minutes away from where we were in a very slightly different direction. It initially I thought was the same direction and I've ended up in whole bits of the park that we've not actually walked through yet. It's crazy big, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think Arthur's just down this way. Yeah, we're heading towards Arthur at the moment. Hi Froggy, you're going to get a hundredth coaster. Hundredth coaster for Baz. Baz, you've got the sign, haven't you? Show us the sign. It's the hundred, hundred what? Arthur. Hundred Arthurs, yes. This is his hundredth Arthur. Yep. So, today we're going to go on Arthur for the hundredth coaster of my life. And uh, because, like, like, it's really, it's got some really good scenery and it's a roller coaster. Yep, it's a powered coaster, it's a powered suspended coaster. And it's just over here. And I suspect afterwards there might be coffee. Fear Award for Innovative Ride System. That's already made my heart bleed. I love the way little dangling lights on the coaster. I like the little light up nocturnal, luminescent, that's what I mean, uh, plants around the area. So guys, we are going on Arthur, and as you can see here, we are in a, oh, oh, she, she has to scream first, and then we get to see this, this thing, and I think it's really nice, you can see some smoke. Oh, it speeds up a bit. And the B. Oh, and then we going at whoa. We are speeding. We are actually speeding up here.
gemstone. Okay. Oh, he's riding a bee. And that is Arthur. Okay, we'll see you after we've gotten off. Okay, well, there's just been a giant rainstorm. We were heading over for our last rides of the day on Wodan. Lots of the coasters seem to have stopped half an hour early. I think we might be in trouble here. I think they might have pulled it half an hour early today compared to the extended time that they announced earlier because of the weather, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like they're evacuating the queue line. It's just a little, like, shout. Yeah. Well, it looks like we might miss out. Oh dear. I think so. So yeah, here's the word on the street, close for lightning. So let's see if that passes. We've got half an hour. We can just sit around here. So there's just being announcements at the moment uh, while I sit in my Viking hut, looking like a Viking, wet Viking. So wet. Oh, good stuff, Baz. Uh, don't know why Baz shouted at me. So here I am being a Viking in my Viking hut and the announcement has come that they will try and reopen the coaster as soon as the lightning threat has passed. So, let's see what happens. We might get spited, we might not. Well, Baz, it is three minutes to closing for this park and we seem to be in the Wodan line that seems to be running. How exciting is that? Really exciting. But well, it's not running yet, it's tested. Well, the queue just moved. I think that's a good sign. They're loading? Yeah, I think so. And those are screaming people. It's open. Let's go. I've got to tell you, I'm quite excited for Wodan. I think it's going to be amazing, Baz. I've got high hopes. Really? I think this might even turn out to be my favourite coaster in this park. I enjoyed what? Voltron earlier, but Voltron. I've got a feeling I'm going to like this more. We've got one more day in the park to put final rankings in. Voltron can still impress me more. Baz, we're where we thought we might not be. We're on Wodan, and I'm quite excited. And that there is the end of the queue. We're the second to last train of the day. The Stave Church here in Norwegian style is lovely. Gotta to, got to respect that. I love the fact that this park has got everything running for 10 minutes because they mean it. You can see Rulantica from here and Kronosar. Just over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's have a good coaster. My favourite coaster I've ridden today. That is amazing. Oh, someone that was screaming that time. 
That's the best Woody. That's better than Lucky Man, that's better than Voltron. <laughs> that's better than Voltron? Mm, no. Second. I think it is better than Voltron. Second. Second. I'm second. That is an amazing Woody. We'll talk more on, on the other camera. This park is closed. And it's amazing. We've had a great day, but we have just ridden an amazing roller coaster. Wodan, don't sleep on it. It's worth riding. I've got to got be honest. Sleep on it. <laughs> I enjoyed that very wet end of day ride on that more than I enjoyed my morning rides on Voltron. Voltron will get another shot on our second day later in the week. But for now, I think Wodan's better than Voltron. I just love coasters with a sense of speed and that has got it in buckets. Easily the best Woody I've ever ridden. That's Baz. Sweet. Right, can you give me the camera. Just, just take the camera. Right. So, guys, that is such a good roller coaster, but it's not better than Voltron. He thinks it is, but I don't think it is. So, I I think that um, Voltron comes first and Wodan comes second. So that's what I wanted to say, guys. And by the way, is this then to our vlog? No, because Mum hasn't had no. her say. Um, your say, Mum. <laughs> Hello. Hello. She's taking that camera. <laughs> okay, Whoa, so she's a walk with me and I'll tell you about what we've done. She's a vlogger. <laughs> it was extremely good. However, the run, what, the kind of what scenic railway in Great Yarmouth, still good. <laughs> but no, it was excellent. The, so I put my thumb over the camera lens, which is not what you do, is it? No, that, there's a Bo Burnham song about that, isn't there? <laughs> well, you can time. still have your, you have your say. No, it was great. Okay. Ride it. It's amazing. In which case, we are ending our day in Europa Park itself, but there's going to be another vlog today, and that vlog is going to be about... Hotel? Hotel football. Hotel football. We're going to watch an football. England semi-final in the Euros at Europa Park, in the Europa Park fan zone, and we'll show you what that experience was like. Hopefully it's going to be positive from a winning point of view, but either way, I'm sure it's going to be a great atmosphere, and you'll want to see it next yeah. time on... Roller Baz and... Coaster Dad. Oh, and Claire. Yay. Oh, yeah. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. We love you.